Put it on the Traeger. That's how they look good. So that All right, here we have it. Poor man's burnt end. And we're gonna be using the chuck roast. I have a 2.5 pounds of chuck roast. And that was, that was 17 bucks at Walmart. So they have them at Walmart and it looks really nice, nice marbled and everything. So I'm excited to try this. This is my first time trying it. Uh, and we all know that when we look at videos, sometimes we try to follow it and it doesn't come out the way it does uh it could be there wasn't enough information for a beginner uh like ourselves and so normally when that that happens is i've i watched before i do something like this i always watch a lot of videos in some videos they won't even show you the trigger part they just say here it is bam and it comes back here it's done and you're like uh excuse me what tent do you use? This is my first time. Hello, McFly. Help a brother out. I've never done this before. So I'm gonna try to give this step-by-step -step process so you guys can get it done. So we're gonna be using Holy Cow Bar. Yes, Holy Cow barbecue sauce um, is one of my top um, Florida barbecues AP is on my top list and holy cow this one beef and this holy cow it's gonna be magic so we're gonna season this really well uh, so let's get the seasoning started And then it's, it's, it's not too salty, cause like I said, I had, I had this, I, I did a, and I used this on ribs. I actually made ribs and I used the holy cow and they were a hit. So I was under the impression, holy cow barbecue rub was for beef. But now I did pork and it tastes delicious. Uh, so, but this is my first time doing it on this chuck roast. So, we're gonna get a nice season to it. It has a nice, some nice marbling, so you know it's gonna be good. Gonna get every side of this to make sure we have a nice, season all over the the piece and since it's thick you know you want you want to go season in it so most my way of thinking when you barbecue it so, so here we have it that's some that's a nice season piece of meat right there look at that every square inch has some good rub. So, now that we got that done like that, so every video that I watch, this is what we're gonna do, 275. We're internal temp, it has to reach 165, but the 165 internal temp mark is when we need to take it out. That's step one. So, 275, let's fire up that trigger. All right. My trigger is up to 275, so it's up to temp now. Now we're gonna add this bad boy in there. Oh, wait, Ugh, right in the middle, right in the middle. Right in the middle. So there we have it. So we'll be back in, I'm gonna say one hour and a half, and then we'll check it there and see what internal temp we're at, and then keep going from there. All right, so it's been there for one hour and a half. Let's see how it's looking. So we're at 135. 
45 and something it is. 145. So 145. So we still got so that was an hour and a half. So we'll be back at when it's at when it's been there for two hours total. We'll be back. Alright, we're back. We're at the two hour mark. Look how it looks. It's getting there. Now let's see where we're at. So I would say they're about ready to come out. So by the time I go get the tray and everything, it'll be at 165. So yeah, we're gonna go to step two. All right, here we have it. So it's, it was there for about two two hours. Uh, by the time I got everything ready here, went and grabbed the meat, it hit at 165. So two hours and five minutes. But just keep your, one of these some handy. 165, step one is done. Step two is we're gonna wrap it in foil and leave it back, put it back in there till it hits 195. So that's our next step. So, it be nice and tight. And that's it. So, I'm gonna put it in there about another hour. I'll go check in within the hour or maybe 45 minutes around there and check and see where we're at. But step two, wrap and turn the temp we're going for now is 195. All right, so I just put it in there. So we're gonna wait 45 minutes now and check up on it. All right, so they've been there for 45 minutes. Now let's see what I'm working with. Step two is done, 195 internal temp, 45 minutes. Uh, it actually went a little bit over, that's okay, it's fine. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these and make them little squares. Uh, man, you can smell this, it smells really good. So we're gonna cut them in cubes. Uh, about like that big. About an inch. So like that. So I'm gonna do the rest. I'll be back. All right, so now we're gonna put them in this tray. So we're gonna add a quarter cup of brown sugar. Famous Dave's Barbecue Sauce, beginner barbecue channel's favorite. And just mix it around. So it's gonna go back in the smoker for another, they say 20 to 40 minutes. So I'm gonna check it at 20 and see how we're looking. All right, let's take it out to the smoker. All right, so we set it on the Traeger. That's how they look good. So now you're not really doing internal temps no more. Internal temp is fine now. Now we're just doing this for that meat, that barbecue sauce here with all that stick very well. So 20 minutes, we'll be back. All right, so they've been there for 20 minutes now. And there they are. They look great. So let's take them out. All right, so here we have it. Before we get started, let's have a quick recap of what we did.
All right, so there you have it. We are done. They look so good. There's one. Uh, so if you guys don't like it too saucy, just put a little bit less than what I put of barbecue sauce, uh, and then you'll be fine. But man, I, I'm ready to try this. Mmm. 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 Taste the sweetness of the brown sugar. This barbecue sauce is really good. The, the, the holy cow barbecue rub is just everything combines perfect with it. I mean, it's just the bark on it, it's just really, really good. Mm. Mm. I know you guys will like this. Poor man's burnt ends. On the chuck roast, on the trigger, it came out really damn good. Um, make sure you guys hit that like. Make sure you guys hit that little bell so you guys get notified when I get new videos. Make sure you guys hit that boom, hit that subscribe button for more great content that will be coming on. Don't also, you ready for this? Do not forget, and I'm telling you guys, do not forget to check out one of these videos right here. This one, this one, this one, this one. They're really great videos. You should try it. And if you want to be a pal, hit that little guy for a subscription. Thank you guys, and we'll see you guys next time.